Hello and welcome to the Games That Matter Week 10 recap video. Um, there's a bit to go into this. I'm running really late this week, so again, I apologize for the lateness of these videos. I'm trying to get them recorded and edited real quick and put out for you guys. Um, so I'm going to jump right into this. Um, Thursday, we had uh, West Virginia at number 12 Baylor I had Baylor winning that one and they did it was a close game though 17 to 14 was the final then Georgia Southern at number 20 Appalachian State now I had Appalachian State winning this one keeping their undefeated season alive but Georgia Southern knocked off Al Appalachian State and uh, basically took them out of the running for the uh, best of the non power five at this point unless catastrophe happens um, Next, moving on to the Saturday games, we had number 14, Michigan at Maryland. Now, I picked Michigan to win this game. Michigan did win this game in spectacular fashion, kept the kept the ball moving after that huge win over Notre Dame uh, the week before, and they're looking to come into the last stretch of their season, uh, including a game against Ohio State, really strong right now. Next was NC State at number 23, Wake Forest. Wake Forest won this one hands down. Uh, Wake Forest keeps their season going strong with only one loss so far um, but they got a they got a rough stretch ahead of them next is Virginia Tech at number 16 Notre Dame now, I picked Notre Dame to win this game they did however Virginia Tech kept it really close uh, it was at home for Notre Dame they keep their home win streak alive but it was when I say it was close I mean it was close uh, Notre Dame got the ball down 20 to 14 drove the ball down the field now had a fourth and three at their own 20 went for it got it and kept the ball moving had another fourth down on the drive fourth and ten inside uh, deep into uh, Virginia Tech's territory converted that one as well finally get the touchdown with 30 seconds left in the game to take a one point victory at home but a victory is a victory for this team at this point not the bounce back fans probably would have wanted but honestly a bounce back the team kind of needed so uh Notre Dame gets the one point 21 to 20 victory over Virginia Tech um looking to come into their game next week against Duke and hopefully do a little better if you're a Notre Dame fan but that being said, Duke is not a, Duke's not going to be a pushover. George, number eight, Georgia, at number six, Florida. It's at a neutral location, and I think that actually helped Georgia. I picked Georgia to win this game, and they came away with the victory. Um, they keep their hopes alive as they uh, they continue to try and make their way back to that SEC championship game. And if they win that, they're in the playoffs. If they went out and win the SEC, they're in the playoffs, no doubt. Next is number 22, Kansas State at Kansas. Kansas State won this game. Uh, Kansas hung a little close for the first bit of the game, but Kansas State pulled away. Over at number four, Clemson. Clemson won. Number nine, Utah at Washington. I picked Utah to win this game, and they did. Now, Washington did keep it close for a bit, for the very beginning. Utah ran away with it, if I'm remembering the score correct. So Utah keeps their hopes alive, and we're looking at getting closer and closer to a uh, late-season match with uh, in the Pac-12 championship, potentially between Oregon and Utah, which would help boost both of the, the winner of that game into a position of potentially playoffs. Ole Miss at number 11, Auburn. I'm picking Auburn. Uh, I, mean, I picked Auburn to win this game home. They did. However, Ole Miss kept it really close. Auburn escaped with the win, in my opinion, on a team that probably they should have beat a little better. That being said, I think they were licking their wounds after that close, close loss to LSU. Um, and they may have been caught sleeping on Ole Miss. Number 17, Cincinnati at East Carolina. I picked Cincinnati to win this game. But they did. Uh, they beat East Carolina, but East Carolina hung with them the whole way. And I believe the final was 47-44. to It was really close and high scoring. Next on the list was number 15, SMU at number 24, Memphis. Now, I picked SMU to win this one, keep their undefeated season alive and their hopes at a BCS bowl game alive. But Memphis 
did not take no for an answer and won the game it was a close hard fought battle Memphis ended SMU's undefeated season and puts themselves in a position to go to basically control the conference from the, from here on out. If they win out, they are in the conference title. Number seven, Oregon at USC. Now I picked Oregon to win this one. They did. Um, USC USC is a good team, and they're doing wonders considering the situation they've had with their quarterbacks coming in and out, and coming and going. So. Uh, not surprising that they would lose to Oregon, but still, I don't think that detracts from this USC team and their their grit. And that's that's a lot coming from me. I don't like USC, but their grit and their determination and their their just um, ability to continue to put up quality games um, while the personnel at a key position like the quarterback continuously changes out. It is, uh, in my opinion. A sign of a good coach and I hope that the university will see that for their coach's sake that it's not his fault his players got injured and they're still doing the best they can all things considered and then last but not least number 21 Boise State at San Jose State now I picked Boise State to win this one and they did however San Jose State kept it really really close a lot closer than anticipated so uh, San Jose State comes away with a close loss as opposed to a huge loss that I thought they would get. Still, Boise State does win, and I did pick them to win. So that puts me at 12 out of the 14 correct on the week, which is an 85.7% correct rate. And that's 161 out of 194 on the season for the games that matter, which is roughly rounded up 83%. So that is it for the games that matter week 10 uh, recap video thank you guys for tuning in again I'm sorry for rushing through this but it's been a lot on the plate and um, it's just with work and uh, trying to work out going back to school working two jobs it's just it's been really hectic thank you guys for tuning in if you like what I'm doing don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys for the games that matter week 11 predictions video